So here basically we have but ugly decimal fraction number one minus but ugly decimal fraction number two. And we'd like to figure out the difference. Well, doing the calculation just straight out with all these decimals would be horrible without a calculator. So we're going to use an algebraic shortcut here. So notice, first of all, that this first denominator here, it's one plus this one that is four decimal places past the decimal. So that is one plus 10 to the negative fourth. And similarly, the numerator there is one minus a single one that is eight places after the decimal point, that is one minus 10 to the negative eighth. And then in similar logic, the numerator of the second one can be written as one plus three times 10 to the negative fourth. And the, the numerator can be written as one minus nine times 10 to the negative eighth. So right away, we've simplified everything a bit in terms of powers. Now notice that 10 to the negative eighth is a square. It's 10 to the negative fourth squares. So that means we can use the difference of two squares formula. And that is one minus 10 to the negative fourth times one plus 10 to the negative fourth over one plus 10 to the negative fourth. The second fraction just stays the same. Whoops, one minus nine times 10 to the negative eighth over one plus three times 10 to the negative fourth. Now notice here what we get is the same factor in the numerator denominator, so that cancels. So now what we're left is one minus 10 to the negative fourth, that is actually the quotient of the first fraction, minus the second fraction, which hasn't changed yet. One minus nine times 10 to the negative eighth over one plus three times 10 to the negative fourth. Well, now I have to combine these two fractions. I'm going to need a common denominator. So this one is going to get multiplied by the denominator of the other. That's one plus three times 10 to the negative fourth. And that factor is in both the numerator and the denominator. OK, so now I have a common denominator and I can put everything together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to FOIL this out here. And so the product of the firsts, one times one is one. The product of the outer, that would be one plus three times 10 to the negative fourth. Product of the inner, that would be negative 10 to the negative fourth. Product of the last, that would be negative three times 10 to the negative eighth. And then from the second fraction, I have to remember to distribute the negative sign. So I get a negative one and a positive nine times 10 to the negative eighth. And this whole monstrosity is over the common denominator of one plus three to the negative fourth. Well, now we get some simplification. The ones cancel, so they go away. We have a three times 10 to the fourth minus 10 to the negative fourth, so that is two times 10 to the negative fourth. We also have a nine times 10 to the negative eighth minus a three times 10 to the negative eighth. So that is six times 10 to the negative eighth. So now from the numerator, I'm going to factor out a two and I'm also going to factor out a 10 to the negative fourth. And what I get is one in the first term, and in the second term I get a three when I factor out the six. And when I factor out a 10 to the negative fourth from 10 to the negative eighth, I get another 10 to the negative fourth. And lo and behold, what I have in that factor in the numerator is identical to the denominator. So that all cancels, and what I'm left with quite simply is two times 10 to the negative fourth, and this is answer choice D.